Some Muslim leaders are expressing concern over the election results, but one Muslim woman is defying that notion. Her Washington Post essay called, I'm a Muslim, a woman, and an immigrant, I voted for Trump, has gone viral. The co-founder of the Muslim Reform Movement and author of Standing Alone, an American Woman's Struggle for the Soul of Islam, Asra Nomani, joins us right now from our nation's capital. Good morning to you, Asra. Good morning, Steve. Thank you. Uh, wait a minute. You're a liberal. Why didn't you vote for Hillary Clinton? Well, I was unfortunately disappointed by the two terms that we've had of Barack Obama administration. Mm -hmm. I'm a single mother. I'm an immigrant. I'm a woman of color. I'm a Muslim. And yet I feel like we have betrayed liberal ideals by putting forward this political correctness and identity politics right. that makes it so that we don't talk about the Islam and Islamic State. And the trickle down of Obama's policies related to health care, mortgage refinancing, they didn't help me in my, in my life sure. condition. You're a single mother who can't afford to pay for insurance and all sorts of things. Hope now didn't work for you. But why Trump now? Why Tuesday night did you go to Forestville Elementary School, where right. I used to vote as well, and, and pull, the, pull the lever for Donald Trump? Well, I thought deeply about this. I thought over all of these months about which way my vote should go. and. I will tell you that as a Muslim, one of my greatest concerns is the issue of Islamic extremism. It really broke my heart when I saw that Hillary Clinton knew that Qatar is, and Saudi Arabia are financing and funding the Islamic State and other Sunni radical groups as revealed in the WikiLeaks documents, but yet they took that money, birthday yeah, gifts sure. and other donations for the Clinton Foundation. Yeah. I appreciate that Donald Trump has a pragmatic approach to the issue of Islamic extremism. Mm -hmm. I do not believe he's a racist. I do not believe he's an Islamophobe. I think he engaged in hyperbole in order to get his point across, and that liberals have mm -hmm. failed to have a conversation that's in the middle about this. You were right about that. Asra, you know, over the last uh, couple of days since Donald Trump has been elected, so many people have said, hey, he's not my president. Uh, I'm yeah. afraid. In fact, yesterday in uh, the 60 Minute interview, he said, don't be afraid. What about being a Muslim in Donald Trump's America? Are you afraid? Well, you know, I told this story yesterday where I was at a fencing tournament this weekend with my son, and he felt fear. He was on the, on the, mm -hmm. side, the, strip, the side of the strip, and I said to my son, I said, breathe deep, overcome your fear. And then, you know what? It wasn't a great weekend for him. He didn't end up on the win side. But what did he learn? He learned to be a good sport, right? right. He learned to shake his, the hand of his opponent, and he learned to come back home and just keep working hard. And that's what I want to tell to my, my fellow liberals. You know what? You lost this election if you voted for Hillary Clinton, and we have to go into the business now of healing. Mm -hmm. We cannot continue this polarization. And so my message is for those on the right to come to the middle in mm -hmm. strength and for those on the left to come to the middle in strength. Great. And on this middle path, we can find healing. Great advice. Uh, Asra Nomani, we thank you very much for joining us from our nation's capital. Thank you, and I'll try to hold the fort down in, our, in your old neighborhood. <laughs> That's right. All right.